Okay, I'm back here with another video. This time I'm going to show you how to uh, adjust your windows if you happen to be getting uh, a wind noise while driving on the highway. Or in my case, when I go and open the window or close the window, it just doesn't seem to... You can see there, it's just going up and down. It's not actually doing what it's supposed to, as you can see from there. But anyway, so if you have this issue, there's a couple ways to uh, adjust this. So the first way is to do it on the individual doors. And then the second one, which is the way I'm gonna try it out first, is to go into service mode and then go ahead and adjust it. So let's go into service mode and then we'll go through that exercise and see if that fixes it. If it doesn't, then we'll do the second one. Okay, so go into, go into service mode. You're gonna click on the car then you're going to go on software and then you're just going to hold down on the model three or model Y in that case. And once it does that, the uh, password is service. So we'll put that in there and it's going to give you a warning. It says service mode should only be enabled by service personnel to service or repair a stationary vehicle. Are you sure you want to enable service mode? Caution, do not enable service mode on public roads unless there's a maintenance requirement to do so. So I'm just going to go and enable. I've been in here before and you'll know you're in service mode with this big huge red uh, mark around it. And so as it loads this up, we'll just wait for it to load. Okay, so what we're going to do is click on closures and windows and it looks like the right window is not calibrated and the rear window is not calibrated uh, it's actually saying the left and left front and left rear are calibrated but i am having the issue on my driver's door where if you go to close it it goes up and it just pops back down so all you're going to do is click on calibrate windows right here and it says uh, hold the right turn signal in the active position and press down on the brake for a few seconds. So that's new. I've never seen it do this before. So this is a new feature of the service mode. So now we're stuck in here for, so we can complete this within 89 minutes. So we'll just go calibrate windows. I'm going to stop that clicking so here we go we're just going to go ahead and calibrate the windows and it's going to say windows will roll up and down to calibrate and pinch detection is disabled during this calibration pinch detection will disable during this calibration all doors should be closed before running this routine so all my doors are closed i've ran this before uh, in a previous version uh, just to check it out what it actually does is it just goes up and down with the windows. It's pretty cool, actually. So I've got a camera outside, so you'll be able to see that as well. So we'll go ahead and run this. There we go. So they kind of just go up and down. It's like playing music almost. So here we go. We're doing the last windows. Okay, so now it's saying the calibration is complete. So we'll go ahead and close this. We've got all greens now, which is really good. And to exit, you just press on this red piece right here for a few seconds. And now we're out of it. So let's go ahead and see if that fixed my issue. So we'll roll down the window all the way down. Good. Looks like it's gonna work. Let's see if it does stay up this time. And there we go. So that's pretty simple, quick, easy fix for calibrating them. Uh, if that does not work, the second option for calibration is to go to each door that you're experiencing the issue. So if you happen to have that same issue, let's say it's this driver's door, you're gonna press down on that window sitting in that seat so if you're going to need to do that seat over there then 
sit over there. I know they say you can do it from the driver's seat, um, but I would recommend that you do it from the seat uh, where the window is. So all you're going to do is you're going to hold down the down window button for 15 seconds once it's completely open. We'll just go all the way down. And then we'll just sit it here and hold it for 15 seconds. Now it's not going to do any damage to the window, so you can do 15, 20 seconds. You just got to make sure it's over 15 seconds. Okay. And now we'll go all the way up and hold it for 15 to 20 seconds. And this is really easy as well, so you can do this at any point in time. Um, I just wanted to test out the service mode to see if it actually worked, so it did. Okay, so we've done that. Go back down all the way to the bottom again and hold that for 15 seconds. I'm not sure if we really need to do this, but uh, I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and close the window and see if it uh, closes properly. And there we go. So that's the two ways to do it. One is within service mode that does all the windows at once and you do get uh, confirmation that it's calibrated. So I would prefer to do that. If you're not comfortable going into service mode, then I would do them individually one at a time. So if you have a window that's making wind noise at highway speeds, that's probably where you'll notice it. Um, just the next time you stop, go ahead through that one minute exercise of just holding it all the way down for 15 to 20 seconds, and then all the way up for 15 to 20 seconds, and then back down for another 15 to 20 seconds. And that should resolve your issue. Now, if it hasn't resolved your issue, be sure to put a ticket in with Tesla from the mobile app and they will arrange either a mobile guy to come out and take a look at it, or you'll have to schedule a visit to a local service center. But it's they're gonna do this step anyway before, so you might as well at least try to do this. There, there are other reasons why this, you get wind noise, it actually could be misaligned inside, and so they'll have to pop up, open the door and adjust that window. But the majority of these can be fixed by doing this calibration piece. So I hope that helped you out. If you're having this issue, um, try this first. It's really only going to take you about a minute. Um, I hope that was helpful. Anyway, thanks for watching.